Hey, I'm Quentin from WeWeb. Today I will show you all the basics of the dashboard and editor of WeWeb. So first, when you sign up, you will land on this specific uh, screen called the dashboard. So the dashboard is where you'll have your workspaces. So workspaces are like different um, projects that you want to build with several people, be it clients or, you know, your colleagues. And inside this workspaces, so you will have all your projects but also your design systems that are part of your websites, your custom components, the member of this workspace, also with invitations, the billing because you pay per workspace and the settings. So nothing really interesting right now. Let's create a new project and go directly in the editor. So we'll click here. Here you can find all the templates that we made already available for you. So for this specific example, we'll select the hello one, give it a name, and create it. Before you open the editor though, I want to show you really quickly the settings that you can find on every project. So first you have got the, pu the publications. So every time you want to publish to production, that's here. Also the domains to connect custom domains, the design systems that are part of this specific project and the settings with the name. Let's go back here and open the editor. So here we are in the editor where you will spend most of your time. So at the center, obviously, you find the Canva where you can create your whole website by drag and dropping stuff, editing text, stuff like that. So it's really classic. If you're used to Webflow or Elementor and WordPress, basically the same. On the right, you've got the sidebar with all the CSS that you can change to change the design, also the settings and the workflows that we I will present in another um, tutorial. At the top, you've got the WeWeb navbar with the menu where you can go back to the dashboard, see all the publish history of your project, the domain names associated, ask us for support, for help, chat with us um, like by sending us a message, see what's new inside WeWeb, give feedback about WeWeb and also show get started to show again the, um, the onboarding and here the dark mode for the people that like it. Here you've got the add tab. So basically with the toolkit, so all the basic elements that you will need to create your app, be it divs, headings, forms, buttons, stuff like that. Design library, it's the specific design elements of your current project's design system. Reusable components is to reuse components across pages like the navigations and the footer, for example. Design, my design systems is all your design systems in this workspace and marketplace is all the section and elements that are currently available and that uh, we, the we web team, give it to you. Then you've got the navigator. So the navigator is a bit like Webflow, if you know it. It's basically where you can find all the tree structure of your page. For example, if I'm clicking on this text, you see that it's currently in this flex box, in this column, in this hero. So you can really navigate I mean, that's the name <laughs> inside your website. You also find variables that you can edit here. So I don't have any here, but you will see in another tutorial why are, what are variables and why they are useful. Then here you've got all the pages. So where you can create new pages and all the pages currently in your project. Then you've got the plugins. So, and that's really the bread and butter of WeWeb is that you can bring data from external sources called data sources, be it Airtable, REST API, Google Spreadsheets, and more. Authentication with Auth0 to add gated content, sign up capabilities, user management, e-commerce system with snip cards, and JavaScript libraries like Chargest and many more to come. Then you've got the data tab. So here you will find all the data currently in your project. So for example, let's say you added a data source and you want to bring data from it for example, for, for example, sorry, from your Airtable or Google Spreadsheets, you will add them here. Then you've got all the variables that are kind of the same, but at the session level and functions to compute some complex data. Here you've got the dev tab. So to develop custom components that you can host on GitHub to reuse inside WeWeb. Let's say you will use them when you have a really specific use case, a complex use case to do. And then you've got the settings with all your assets, your design system with the font typography, and also uh, the languages of your app, the custom code to, an to add an analytics system and stuff like that. Then you've got the name of your page. Then you've got the languages of your page. 
Then you've got the buttons to go back and forth. Like change, uh, if you made a change that you don't like, for example, I've done this. I mean, I can hit Command Z, but I, co I can also do this. Here you've got the, we're in the edit mode, but you've got also the preview mode to see the app as it would be for the user. Then you've got the responsive buttons, like with the desktop, tablets, and mobile uh, view to edit your project at multiple viewports. You've got also all the people currently connected, so only me at the moment, but you can edit the same page and the same projects with multiple people at the same time, and then the button to publish the website. And that's it, you know, all the basics of WeWeb.